And we are finally getting details of the $1.2 trillion spending package that if it passes before tomorrow night's midnight deadline, it would avoid a partial government shutdown. So let's talk it out with our national correspondent, Kayla Gaskins. Kayla, I know you've been looking into this. What have you found? Right, Kim, we've been waiting for these details, and this morning we're finally getting a glimpse of what's in this bill. So the compromise deal keeps the top line spending at roughly the same levels as 2023. Both sides are claiming victories here. Republicans pointing to budget, budget cuts to the FBI and the ETA. There's also increases in spending for border security, something hardline conservatives would not support this bill without. Democrats, on the other hand, pointing out the bill avoids the drastic cuts Republicans were pushing for. It also reportedly projects uh, protects abortion access and nutrition assistance for women and children. The bill also, though, keeps a restriction in place to withhold funding for the UN Relief and Works Agency known as UNRWA. This is the Palestinian refugee agency that was with uh, handling humanitarian aid in Gaza and then made international headlines, Kim, when a dozen staffers were allegedly involved in the October 7th attack on Israel. That's when the United States decided to halt their funding along with other countries, so that halt still in place. As for the timeline for the bill ahead, this only gives Congress less than two days now to consider the bill. The House might waive their 72 hour rule. We'll find out hopefully more about that later today. On the Senate side, though, Senator Rand Paul is threatening to slow the bill down. So there is still the possibility of a partial government shutdown tomorrow night at midnight. Oh, fingers crossed they get this whole thing done. Thank you very much, Kayla, and we will see you again soon.